my name is Sherelle Yarbrough and today I'm going to be reading the first installment of the L Rays series. Now, this series is about three young sisters who were suddenly gifted with individual life virtues that awaken unknown powers to be used in the evolution of the next generation, which is Generation Alpha. So I co-authored this book with my brother, Amari Yarbrough, and he was inspired to write this book one day when he saw a picture of my three young daughters, Ariel, Brielle, and Liliel, uh, holding hands while they were sleeping one night. And this sparked a curiosity in his mind that maybe somehow they're exchanging some magical energy <laughs> in the process of holding hands while sleeping. And that gave him the thought that they could possibly be superheroes. So I'm going to read this book to you and I hope you enjoy it. All right. Chapter one, out of this world. Have you ever seen real magic that took you to another time and space while well, sisters Ari, Bree, and little Lily discovered such a special place? Their simple act of falling asleep would unlock mystical powers that would take them on a fantastic journey of hidden inner jewels upon the world they would flower. It all began one day after school when the sisters came home energetic. They ran and played and bounced and jumped until Ari said, Mommy, your phone is ringing. You should get it. Surprised, Mommy stopped staring the dinner to see if she too could hear the sound. But all she heard were the sounds of the sisters playfully running around. Mommy, someone is calling you, Ari said out loud one more time. Okay, watch your sisters. I will be right back, Mommy said, and made her way towards the stairs to climb. When she got to her room, Mommy was shocked to see that she indeed had several missed calls, but her phone was set to vibrate, so how could Ari have heard it at all? As bedtime approached, the sisters got ready to do what they did every night, fall fast asleep in peace and quiet while through their window shined a big street light. But this night was surprisingly darker than before and this frightened little Lily the most. So Ari and Bree told her to hold their hands for no way would they let anything get close. As they connected their hands and drifted off to sleep, everything around them was suddenly bright. Big gold triangles danced around them. It was such a wonderful sight. Then suddenly a huge explosion sent the sisters flying into the air. Through the trees and the clouds, they soared like birds. Where they were going, they were unaware. As they flew far into the galaxy, they were suddenly hit by three rays. A red, a purple, and a pink ray of light brightly guided their way. Ari drifted on a red ray of strength and felt stronger than she ever had before. Bree was purple and little Lily was pink, showing wisdom and beauty that couldn't be ignored. They returned to the earth with hands aglow in each of their brand new colors. Ari spotted their house from above the clouds and led the sisters back to their bed and covers. They woke the next morning well rested and ready to take on another school day. Ari told mommy about the dream she had and Bree told her dream the same way. Mommy thought it was a coincidence that the two sisters shared the same dream. Little Lily was too young to tell her own story, but she knew everything she had seen. The three sisters gathered their books for school and piled all together in their van. Mommy dropped the sisters off before the school day officially began. While at her locker putting away her books, Ari's friend Leanne came running over. She was smiling from ear to ear with excitement because Leanne had something to show her. You won't believe what I saw last night, Leanne said in uncontrollable glee. Look at these falling stars in the sky that almost fell right over me. Ari watched in total disbelief as Leanne continued to share a red, a purple, and a pink ray of light rapidly shooting in the air. Could what Ari thought was only a dream been something so much more? Was her dream possibly a reality is what Ari planned to explore. She couldn't wait to get home that night 
and sleep while holding her sister's hands to see if they could once again experience a journey to another land. But Ari and her sisters would have to wait, for their powers needed time to mature. Their unique gifts were growing into something that one day could not be stored. For now, Ari took pleasure in knowing that at least her sisters wouldn't be afraid of being in the dark together at night because nothing evil would ever invade. Together, they were a growing force of strength, wisdom, and beauty that will one day take on the outside world in a way no one would believe. Chapter 2, Listen and Learn Have you ever found it hard to focus when loud noises were too much to bear? Well, Bree of the Elray sisters learned one day how to channel the sounds of the air. It was after dinner when Mommy checked over homework and came across a note from Bree's teacher. It stated that Bree was not listening in class and at times she was unable to reach her. The teacher said that Bree seemed distracted, sometimes sitting quietly, never making a sound. She suggested they see someone qualified to help Bree focus more on things around. The next day, Mommy took Bree to the special doctor on the other side of town. The doctor evaluated Bree thoroughly and told Mommy there was nothing he found. She hears everything just fine, he said. Sometimes she responds before I can say a word. Her hearing and understanding are amazing for someone so young as quite unheard. Mommy thanked the doctor for taking the time, then took Bree back to school the next day. Bree didn't want to miss the upcoming school assembly, as her friends would be performing in a play. Bree watched the assembly in amazement and awe, as she could hear them loud and clear. But when they lined up together to sing out loud, Bree had to cover her ears. What is wrong? Mommy asked of Bree. Is everything okay? But the vibrations of noise that Bree could hear was just too much to say. Bree ignored Mommy and kept her ears covered for every performance thereafter. It was the only thing that Bree could do to make sense of all the noise and chatter. Concerned that something was wrong with Bree, Mommy took her back home. She needed to get Bree back to that special doctor. She immediately called him on the phone. Bree started telling Ari and little Lily about all the things she heard. She talked nonstop about all the conversations. She told them word for word. Mommy listened from the other room as Bree described a number of sounds. Then she heard Bree tell both Ari and little Lily about the vibrations that came from the ground. They felt like they were tickling my ears, Bree said of the unknown sounds. But when I covered my ears, I could hear very clear. I could hear everything around. Mommy dropped the phone in shock. She couldn't believe what Bree had said. Was Bree really telling her sisters that she could hear what's inside someone's head? Ari could hear things from a distance and Bree could hear things unsaid. Maybe this is just a phase, Mommy thought. And so she sent the girls off to bed. That night, Mommy sat awake, unable to sleep, thinking about what was going on with Bree. She looked through the computer to find answers, but answers she couldn't find any. As she continued to search through many different sites, something gave Mommy a big scare. She heard a boom and ran to her window to see multiple colors in the air. A red, a purple, and a pink ray of light seemed to dance and shoot about. Mommy rushed to the sister's room in a panic, afraid she would have to get everyone out. But to her surprise, the sisters were all sleeping, holding hands, each with a smile on their face. The light that Mommy thought she saw there was no longer a trace. For now, Mommy would have to wait and watch her daughters close. She thought she needed to protect them from the world, but could it be the world needed protection the most? Chapter three, discover the unknown. Have you ever tried to say something that you couldn't quite put into words? Or maybe you had all the answers, but you just couldn't be heard. Well, number three of the Elray sisters, better known as Little Lily, opened the last eye and unlocked all the answers to the questions of the things that Mommy couldn't see. The sisters were in the backyard with Mommy, taking their time planting eucalyptus trees, but little Lily was impatient and wanted it to grow, so she tried with her best ability. Grow, 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 little Lily said, while into the dirt Mommy continued to pound. Then Ari and Bree came over and placed both of their hands into the ground. Girls, don't do that. Go wash your hands, Mommy instructed to Ari and Bree. 
I don't want you to bring more germs into the house. Now go wash immediately. With her back turned, Mommy couldn't see what little Lily was doing behind her. But she too had placed her hands in the dirt and the ground began to stir. Oh no, an earthquake, Mommy said and quickly rushed the sisters into the house. Then suddenly everything was silent. It was as quiet as a mouse. Girls, are you okay? Mommy asked. I think we just had an earthquake. What about our trees? Ari asked. I don't want any of them to break. It takes a while for trees to grow, baby, Mommy said to calm Ari down. I'm sure the trees will be just fine, but for now we need to go into town. As they walked back out the door, Mommy dropped her purse in shock and disbelief because looming high above her were three eucalyptus trees. Excited of their new discovery, Ari, Bree, and little Lily joined hands. They did ring around the rosy in front of the new trees that were so grand. But as they spun together in a circle, the sight of the sisters became a blur. They spun so fast and quickly that all you could see was color after color. Mommy remembered seeing this before. She remembered seeing the light of red, of purple, of pink tiny rays shooting through the sky the other night. Then out of nowhere, everything started to grow in strength and beauty and in wisdom. Every plant was strong, every flower was colorful, and Mommy could now see with perfect vision. Her daughters had somehow on earth a power that allowed them to do marvelous things. But what else could they do, she wondered, and what trouble? Would this bring? The girls finally stopped spinning and looked in awe at the array of trees and plants which they created by using their powers and joining together their hands. For now, Mommy thought that it would be best to keep all of this a secret. She didn't want anyone else to know, so to herself, she would have to keep it. Mommy gave them all a big hug and thanked them for what they had done. What mommy didn't know was that their powers were still growing and it had only just begun. The end. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the story. There's more magical adventures to come and this was just the beginning. So please follow us at the L Rays to stay tuned, to see what's next and to see how the L Rays is going to evolve the world for the next generation to come. Have a good day.